Hey guys, HX22 here. Uh, just doing a little bit of work on that Steven's favorite uh, single shot. We're doing a thermal expansion cycle um, followed by contraction on the parts that we need to using ice. Essentially we're going to try to break this bolt free and we're going to try to get the barrel to contract a little bit. Um, this is accomplished by heating up the whole part nice and evenly. Uh, not to a level that's going to affect the metallurgy, but just uh, to the point where it's warm. Uh, we're not going to make it glow or, or you know, anneal the metal in any way. Um, we've got to be very careful with that. The idea being heat it up evenly, apply ice to the barrel and to the bolt, and those should contract, at which point we can go spritz it with a little bit of oil, and it should be um, good. Um, it may take a couple of cycles for it to break free in the way that we want to see. Um, just the nature of the beast. One way that we usually do this is by heating it up to when the uh, penetrating oil starts burning off, but since this one wasn't soaking in penetrating oil like some of the other projects has been, it uh, we just have to keep an eye on it and make sure that, you know, it uh, doesn't change temperature too far away from the work surface. Um, there's a decent amount of metal here, so warming it up slowly, gradually, on a kitchen stove should work just fine. Uh, word to the wise, make sure you have adequate ventilation for this. Um, there are some free hydrocarbons that are on these in the form of you know various oils, etc., and they will make a smoky mess that sets off the uh, smoke detector. I already had uh, a little bit of that here. Um, we should actually be able to free up the uh, loading lever pretty soon here, uh, as well as if the thermal shock works, fingers crossed, we might be able to get the uh, pivot screw to come out. It's, um, it's in there pretty good and it may be peened over. It's, it's possible that on these screws we'll have to actually bore them and use a screw remover. Um, possible, not probable, and we're going to try to do everything we can to use as many of the original components as possible, but it's, uh, yeah, still heating up slow. try to keep the small parts a little bit away from the uh, the flame so that they don't heat up at a dissimilar rate from the uh, the larger parts there's a lot of mass in the receiver relative to the trigger and the takedown lever etc and we don't want those to uh, heat up to a level that's going to actually affect the metallurgy in a, in a negative way so it's still smoking a little bit. So a little bit of patience is required. That said, it is kind of fun. Um, it is kind of fun. Okay, you can see the seam for the uh, the bolt there weeping a tiny bit of oil. Just a tiny bit. It needs more. Actually, but definitely needs more. In theory, uh, when we apply some ice to this thing, which we should be getting pretty close here to applying the ice, uh, it should contract, and then I can run into the other room with it and uh, spray some oil on there, and it'll make a big smoky mess. But it should, uh, with the with the thermal differential. Um, contracting the barrel while still expanding the receiver and contracting the bolt while still expanding the receiver, it should allow for the penetrating oil to get in there nice and deep. Um, I think for this round though we're going to be using like break-free CLP, something with a little bit more uh, viscosity to it because I didn't get around to buying any more P-Blaster. Uh, I've just been busy getting ready for uh, Thailand and Cambodia. so. You know, it's taking priority. Um, this should be this should be good actually. It's still smoking a little bit. All right. Take the uh, 
ice and apply it directly. wives, roommates, etc. around because they may object to you cooking guns on the stove. Even though it doesn't really make much in the way of a mess. Just a lot of smoke and steam. It should be pulling in. You can see it starting to get a little bit more of a gap. You can see the difference in color. It's kind of interesting. More ice needed. has the most mass to it, but it seems to be the one that's responding the best to the thermal shrinkage. Quite a bit of radiant heat coming off of this. But you can see it's starting to slow down the melt on the uh, on the bolt and the barrel, but the uh, receiver itself is still quite hot. That's the point where you want to uh, get the penetrating oil on, and I'm going to go do that, but I need another hand, so uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, here we are outside because this is a smoky, messy process, but um, you can see we've spritzed it with uh, some oil. This isn't penetrating oil per se, this is just some CLP that we had handy. Uh, like I said, I didn't buy the uh, the P-Blaster like I really should have. But you can see like what happens. It heats up, there's enough thermal differential. It's not boiling off the barrel, but it is boiling off the receiver. And that allows for the uh, the oil to get in between the crevices where it couldn't prop pr previously. <sighs> Definitely a messy process. Um, wait till the wife, girlfriend, roommate, etc., are out of the house for this one because you will uh, get talked to. Very nice. So, uh, it seems like there's enough oil on this thing, even with it burning off slow, that this, this is going to work into the seams that we've been working on. Um, doesn't look like there was enough thermal change to do any damage to the receiver, which is the way you want it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will be coming apart um, fairly soon. We're going to have to wait for everything to uh, equalize pressure-wise a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's definitely too hot. The receiver's too hot to work with. But yeah, that's, uh, that's using thermal uh, expansion and contraction to break uh, cold welds on rusted firearms. It's uh, pretty straightforward. And if you ever hear a mechanics or other other uh, project-oriented guys talking about using the hot wrench, that's uh, that's what they mean. And heat it up, cool it down, and uh, hopefully break the cold weld bonds formed through the corrosion process. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go upload these videos and uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm probably gonna be making a few more videos tomorrow, and then. The next video after that that you'll see is going to be me in Cambodia 
firing uh, rocket launchers. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. All right. Have a good one. Bye.